What's going on guys, Shadowaid7 here, and I'm bringing you guys just a simple domination game. And I kind of wanted to talk strategy and kind of discuss the things I did in this game that were right. And overall just kind of dissect different strategies that people can imply and implore in domination and use. And um, I was using my my Cheekum SMG class. Um, all my classes are SMGs and I have a, I can use every single SMG and I kind of have a, have a purpose for each, each and every single one. So... I'm trying to get the my Cheekum and my Scorpion Gold, and um, then I could have a Diamond SMG, so I was using my Cheekum. And this is really kind of an appropriate map for the Cheekum as well. Because the way I have the Cheekum set up, I have, um, I have Quick Draw, and I also have Stock on it, which allows me to aim down the sights, but also move very, very, very fast while aiming down the sights. So, it allows me to kind of hold down and lock down a position while still aiming down the sights, and the Cheekum is very, very useful in the kind of range that you get in Plaza. And Plaza is an interesting map. In my opinion, Plaza is one of those hardcore domination maps. One of those maps where, like, it's really hard to get B, and if you, like, if an enemy is holding B, like, well, then you're screwed. But if an enemy is, uh, if you're trying to, if you're holding B, then it's really hard for an enemy to take it from you. It's one. It's just one of those maps that B is like a tough son of a bitch to get, but a tough son of a bitch to lose. And there, there's a few of those maps, and those maps are kind of, in my opinion, the best maps because you know they they provide the most action and domination, but they're also the toughest to play in domination. Some maps have situations where. You know, it's just super easy to get B, and it's not really much of a challenge, but Plaza is definitely not one of them. And I like Plaza because it's my favorite map, obviously, but it's just, you know, it's it's close range. It provides me with um, close range battle, and me being a big SMG guy, it really puts me at an advantage in most of my gunfights. And that's really one of my favorite things. You know, a lot of people are like, well, Shadow, why isn't Hijack your favorite? That's a really close range map. Well, it's up there, but Plaza, because I don't like to root for the, the, you know, all around, everyone thinks the best map. I It's just not something I like to do. I always find a different map that, is a, that, that I think personally is a little bit better, um, and it's different from what most other people think is the best, and Plaza's just it. Same thing with Black Ops 1. When Black Ops 1 was still popular, I, Nuketown wasn't my favorite map. I can't remember, I think it was Firing Range. Firing Range was a very popular map, but I think Nuketown was overall the biggest favorite. That's probably why they brought, brought it back, but I, I loved Firing Range. So, overall, the, the main, there's a few strategies you can imply in Domination. It's not really kind of a one-trick system. You can do all sorts of things. You can run the table, try to go for a triple cap, or you can even go for a spawn trap, or you can do a little bit of a different of like kind of like a moving around strategy. The typical strategy obviously is to spawn trap, which is uh, which is what I'm doing in this game. We're holding A and we're holding B and we're sp they're spawning at C and we're just basically locking them out of the position and keeping them from getting B and it's very it's a very simple strategy to apply. Um, not a lot of people, it's like, it's an easy strategy, but all strategies on, in Domination are difficult to um, apply and to use. But, this one is definitely the easiest and is really consistent. Domination, it's, it, it's a, an extremely fun game mode if you're winning, in my opinion. There's also the triple cap way, which is kind of like hold all the bases and kind of just complete domination uh, only do that if you think if you know you can do it to your opponents only pull out like a complete triple cap rapage if you know that your opponents are gonna e be easily beaten you know if you're, you're facing a bunch of noobs and you just wanna beat them real fast or maybe you're going for the triple cap title or something like that and you just wanna you wanna get that against your opponents and you can do that I'm not gonna I'm not saying it's the most consistent way and I'm not saying that you're gonna always get it no matter what because it is extremely difficult, but you can do that. It's something that I kind of came up in my own head um, while I was playing Domination over my years of COD. You can also apply kind of like a moving system. It's kind of like continue, continue to keep your opponent on their feet. Continue to keep them kind of moving around and taking different bases. You know, start off by taking A or C, whichever one. Let's let's say A for this instance. You start off by taking A, and then you go and grab C and pressure them at C, maybe even grab it, and then you just head in and grab B while they're trying to grab C, and then maybe they grab A, you grab A, just kind of grabbing all different types of flags, and it, it's closer to triple cap, but in my opinion, I don't think it's the most consistent way, 
And although I don't really like to apply it too much, I feel like if you can master it, then you can easily win. Like, it, it's like no problem. It's kind of keeping your opponent on guard at all times. They don't know what you're going to do. They don't know where you're spawning. So it's kind of hard to game plan around something when they don't know where you're spawning and they don't know what you're trying to do. And that's kind of what really brings the kind of difficulty to to the whole that whole strategy. But it's not really consistent. And it doesn't really work all too well most of the time. It's just something that it's kind of like my own little project that I'm trying to work on and think about. And maybe even apply sometimes. But as of right now, the spawn trapping is the most consistently awesome strategy that you can possibly apply. And um, I wanted to talk about also some score streaks that you can run in Domination to assist yourself and help yourself out in um, in this game mode and obviously you can see what I just put down right there although it didn't work in the second half of this game it works really well you can put you can throw down the guardian the guardian works extremely well that's one of my favorite score streaks in the game because with the guardian you manage to put it in an area and your enemies it's it's a tough son of a bitch if you find a guardian it's it presents a challenge you know it, it throws out a challenge that's kind of like you know, in your head, you're like, oh shit, they have a guardian, now I have to consider thinking about that, and it's just tough, you know, it's a tough thing to, uh, to face, and when you have, when an opponent has a guardian, people de tend to do as much as they can to knock it out quickly before it does too, when it deals too much damage. Other things you can also run in domination, obviously a lot of people like to run bigger score streaks like load stars and VTOLs and swarms and shit like that, because domination is longer, and it's generally the the game mode that you want to play when you want to get big score streaks, maybe even ground war or something. Domination is definitely up there, and that's just the game mode, you know? But, um, overall, for tactically playing domination when you're trying to win, lightning strike. Lightning strike really helps a lot because you can place that on anywhere you want. So you can throw that on all three flags, bam, bam, bam. You can even throw it on B, all of them on B, and just wipe all your opponents out on B and be able to capture because B is the most important flag in domination on most maps. In most cases, you want B. Uh, that that's kind of just the flag that you want, and um, it it works extremely well. So it, it's just something that you're really gonna have to want. And there's a lot of score streaks to help you out, and Lightning Strike does that. Hellstorm could be useful, but again, it's iffy because you're moving you're moving a little bit faster with Hellstorm, and you can't really kind of tactically think in your mind right at that point. You're kind of like, oh shit, I gotta know exactly what's going on at that exact moment. I gotta figure this out. So you just kind of throw it anywhere, and most of the time, it just goes towards their spawn, and it takes them out there. So you could say Hellstorm, Sentry Gun, obviously, to overlook any of the flags that you need. A lot of the overlooking ones, but my favorite score streak run up or set up, sorry, is um, UAV, obviously. Most people run UAV. I run UAV. Uh, the counter UAV, that's something that a lot, of, not a whole lot of people run. The counter UAV is an extremely useful uh, score streak, and when I get it, it's something that, I, it's kind of one of the score streaks that I like to activate, and you can activate it, like, real fast. Like, bam, you, counter UAV, done. You know, it's not something that you have to wait for, that you have to place. And then the Garden. Although it may not be, in terms of placement, my favorite, because I'm not too big on placement score streaks. I prefer the score streaks where I can be like, bam, activated, don't have to worry about it, and just kind of activate it really fast, because I like to keep myself moving. The Guardian helps me out, you know, it's a very good tool to defend an objective or defend an area without having to kind of, because it has a decent range, you know, it shoots down one straight line, so... And it works extremely well, you know, so it's just, it's it's extremely useful, and sometimes I'll use Lightning Strike or Hellstorm, I've even used uh, Sentry Gun, that didn't work out too well, I suck with Dragon Fire, never, never talk to me about dra Dragon Fire, it is terrible in my hands, so I, I don't even want to speak about that, and I've used big score streaks, but I'm not much for a big score streak kind of guy, so, the Guardian has just come out to be one of the most consistent score streaks that I've been able to use. And you can get it fairly easily. It's not something that's too difficult to get. I can get about two, at least two to four per game, you know. Uh, at one point, and this is just something that I, I really liked, I was playing standoff. And the bu building in the middle, the one building, I had four Guardians set up in there. And they were on all the entrances and they couldn't get in. No one ever got in that building. That that, that was crazy. Uh, I really enjoyed that gameplay, and I really enjoyed that game. It was very, very, very fun. So the Garden has just proved to be very good, and it's very good in domination. It can shut D down, and of course, B is extremely important, you know? So 
But locking down the middle, in my opinion, is the most important fact of domination. Um, you know, if you lock down the middle, you win. It, it's as simple and basic as that. If you if you can manage to get the middle and you can manage to get B, then you can win. And a lot of maps are centered around B for domination, so it's an, it's an easy it's it's an easy formula to come up with. Hey, we control the middle, we control the game, but it's even difficult, more difficult to do again, especially since everybody knows it. It's a common thing around people. We gotta control the middle. So those are just a few tips. Um, kind of just keep yourself safe. You wanna attack the middle, but don't blindly attack it. You know, so um, control the middle and domination, you win. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video. Comment on what you thought of it. And subscribe if you wanna see more. Later.